the big why why this issue is the biggest issue in Britain today is because the extremist ideologies are directly contradicting the British values of you can call them universal ethos. Because if we are talking about mutual respect, they are talking about segregation and deviance, that Muslims are the best or Nazis are the best or etc. etc. And I mean I uh, I've developed this diagram to show that the five key values in Britain the extremist ideologies actually counter all of them. Uh, and in this way, they are actually uh, having a direct conflict, which we must, I mean, the greatest responsibility lies with Muslims, because at the moment in the UK, the biggest threat is Islamic uh, radicalization and extremism. Uh, government is doing a lot, obviously, as you were mentioning about the prevent, which has been going on, despite negative press and other stuff. I think the government is doing something which is needed to keep Britain safe. Yeah. No. It would have been a very long presentation if I would have included the whole results. So I just jotted down to six things. 100% believe that parents can save their children. 92% believe that education is playing a very vital role in swaying the youth away from terrorism. 94% believe that media can play a positive role uh, in countering extremism. 96% uh, believe that religious leadership has a role to play as well. Uh, but the, this middle pie is that the government policies are having a positive impact with some mixed result. 48% don't know if there's any impact. Uh, 38 people, 38 percent believe there's there's actually a negative impact from the government policies. Uh, only one in seven, that is 14 percent, believe that it is a positive impact. We have been to the civic center in Newcastle. We have uh, given a presentation to the Lord Mayor in Gateshead. This pie is disturbing for them. And I believe that because one reason is that government agenda and all the reports are in English m most of the time. Mm -hmm. The local people actually don't know w uh, how to access it on government mm -hmm. policy document. The government has got not a single track policy. It has got actually a lot of documents available. Uh, in the last seven years. In the last year, this is the snapshot what we have done so far. We started in January with first consultation, then we went to Pakistan Cultural Society because they have been there for 25 years working for community cohesion, uh, just like Mr. Shukla, uh, who has done a lot. Uh, Mr. Interfaith has done a lot for the community uh, awareness and uh, creating strong bonds. Then we discussed it with the counter terrorism police. Uh, and we had three meetings with them. They and just from my part, I mean, okay, I, I filmed it with their permission. I, when I was editing it, the uh, girl who played the young Muslim girl with tight skinny jeans, that stereotype is fine. But the English fellow who joined the EDL, he made me cry. Because you suddenly realize that they've got exactly the same problem. is only because the children are vulnerable. And now the first exhibition is about what are the reasons of children, why the kids are vulnerable. Yes. So we found, um, we decided to start from the home, from very young children, mm -hmm. like uh, if the parents are happy, the children are okay, they are very good citizens, yes. they are very fantastic in school and that area. But if the family is with the domestic violence, mm -hmm. then the children obviously face loads of trouble. Mm -hmm. And my daughter, she designed to provide pupils with perspectives for debating competitions rather than them necessarily uh, researching things off the internet with a bias, as is often the case, yeah. as you're aware. In terms of the curriculum enhancement, James Smith, who you may have met before, who does a lot of our PSHRE, introduces lots of um, topics which he calls the moral issue. And he oh. introduces a moral issue every single week. Okay. So the pupils in the academy debate discuss, address. Like all the moral dilemmas we have in day-to-day -day life. That's right. Mm. But with no leading, you know, he provides the two perspectives and then lets the pupils with a member of staff explore, you know, that, those topics without us necessarily preaching and saying this is the Yeah, right. yeah, this is the right way, yeah. We try and encourage them to come, okay. come to the answer. So that could be a, another avenue mm. in which to work. And um, Dion, Dion Krishnan, who you've a musician, met, I'm sure super musician. Excellent musician. <laughs> He's the one who's going to be organising this this uh, themed day where we'll be off timetable to explore some of these sorts of issues around the British values and you know as wow. you say 
universal ethics 